Hello, good morning and welcome to today's video from NAK Fishing. This is part two of three of the Guru Junior League. If you've not seen part one, I'll put in a, a link in the description below. If you've not seen my channel before, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, give us a like on the video uh, and leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you like about the video so then I know that you're enjoying watching. It's a gorgeous day down here at Partridge Lakes today. I think the temperatures are going to be through the roof. So about going to be about 32 degrees. Me and Dylan have just had a walk around uh, Corvey 1 and there's a lot of fish on top. But I think today the fishing is going to be quite hard. Hopefully we're going to be looking for a peg that's going to have some kind of cover uh, that we can fish to because I don't think we're going to be feeding uh, much out in the open because the water's flat calm. Uh, there's no wind and it's very bright with the sun so like i said we're going to be hoping that we can get a peg that's got some cover maybe some like a lot of reed beds over the other side um a pallet to fish to overhanging tree something like that we're going to be fishing on mainly maggot and pellet today uh, we've chosen maggot mainly because anything will take it so if those carp are feeding we could hopefully get those hide feeding or skimmers uh, bream anything like that and try and knock a bit of a weight up with silvers instead uh, so the draws due for happening in around half an hour i think is it around half an hour so we're gonna go and get some refreshments now plenty of water we've got a sun cream on make sure you put your sun cream on when the weather's like this don't want anyone burning Burning. go and get some refreshments now uh, do the draw and then same as on my first video we'll let you know what Dylan's drawn and see what we think of a peg and how we're going to approach it today
Right, so Dylan has drawn peg 21 on Corby 1. The horn's just gone for all in. There's not much cover on this peg. Uh, so what we've done is we've set up a line far straight down the track, which is just fed up with two big cups of maggot. And then we've done a shallow line because there's a lot of fish topping. And then we've done a line far down the margin, which is just in front of me, uh, which is about 27 inches deep. We're going to be big potting some ground bait in there um, and fishing on maggot or pellet, whichever one we've seen be getting the best results on. So I'll hand you over to Dylan fishing there. So he's just feeding up his uh, track line, which is about five feet. As I said before, he's just putting two big pots of white maggots in there, try to get them uh, feeding. And then we're going to feed up this margin with some growing bait. And then we're going to start on the track line, I think, on the uh, double white maggot. Right, so Dylan's just swapped to his margin line. Uh, but we fed up before, he's tried down the track and we weren't getting much luck where there was plenty of fish topping and cruising around. But uh, it's just been getting a lot of line bites where the fish have just been swimming through his line. Uh, so as I said, he's just tried down the margin, he's just had a little gudgeon now on double white maggot. Um, he's getting a few bites. I think we're from a smaller fish. We're just going to keep feeding that growing bait and hopefully attract those um, bigger carp in shortly. Right, so Dylan's just hit into his first fish down the margin. I think it's an F1 by the looks of it. Just big potted some growing bait in. And um, not long after he was into this fish. Looks nice. Right, so just coming up to about the hour and 40 minute mark in the match, or so just before halfway, um, Dylan didn't have much luck down the track, so he tried down his margin, he's had a couple of small carp, a couple of small left ones, um, <coughs> and then he started hitting into a lot of gudgeon and roach, so we've put in some a lot more ground bait and he's just now fishing to the pallet to his right where there's a bit of shade. He's had a couple of bites where he's just had another little gudgeon, I think it was, wasn't it, Dylan? Was it another gudgeon, that, what you had then? Yeah, yeah another gudgeon. Um, hopefully we can get the carp coming into these margins, uh, maybe probably in the last hour or so. Um, at the moment we're struggling a little bit. We just can't seem to find where they're feeding. I think the weather's a bit too hot for them. Looks like he's got another roach, I think. A bit bigger than the last few what he's had over the last hour or so. Is that a roach, Dylan, or an eyed? Is it a roach or an eyed? Or perch?